This is MRD 101, Rural Development Indian Context. MRD 101, Rural Development Indian Context. Block number four, Rural Development Administration. So today, I am going to talk about, uh, once again I repeat, MRD 101, Rural Development Indian Context. Block 4, Rural Development Administration. So earlier, of course, administrative structure of this rural development. See, it is very, very important actually to know what is going on either in the country or in the state. Because rural development administration means national level, and set up in national level, then state level, then district level, then block and villa villages also. That is local self government. See, so DRDA, that is District Rural Development Agency, is there. And, uh, you know, here, whether it is, you know, all Panjayat, everything, it is elected representatives are there. Every five-year election is conducted and, uh, you know, the chairman is, or president is also elected. In Kerala, 50% uh, you know, reservation is there for ladies, actually, in addition to normal reservation policies, like uh, CST. Then, CAPART, C-A-P-A-R-T, Council for the Advancement of People's Action and Rural Technology, that, uh, one, that is also functioning, uh, that is you know, uh, technology, whatever, you know, rurally you are developing, whatever is there, you know, for that, you know, additional facility which we are providing, the government is providing, whatever help. Then structuring the maintenance of accounts and uh, audit level. That is the primary objective, that the proper accounting is, uh, yes, uh, uh, sometimes it is conducting, but social audit, panjayat as well as block, Everywhere, the audit should be there to uh, find out discre discrepancies, if any, irregularities, if any, or over expenditure, or less, uh, what is that, you know, usage of funds, uh, planned funds, and whatever is there, you know. And they got a lot of, uh, uh, you know, is a social audit being conducted by Accountant General Office or some other offices. Uh, authorized for it okay but uh, whether it is effective or not that is the another thing social audit report uh, it has to go to the appropriate authorities for taking action it is not forthcoming it is uh, only uh, you know uh, sometimes is, uh, report is going so afterwards uh, action is not taking place with the result of which uh, sometimes you know the person will or People will continue to, uh, you know, do the mis misappropriation of funds or whatever. It is not uh, correct, actually. See, uh, Gandhiji's vision is that, you know, the democracy should, you know, start from the, you know, villages, actually, from that level onwards. So, if we have to fulfill his, our Ashtabhita, you know, uh, whatever, a dream, then everybody has to, whether it is national, whether it is state or whether it is Panjayat, so local self-government, everybody has to contribute a lot. Then there is the integrated development of rural areas. Integrated uh, development of rural area. You can see that, of course, you can read uh, this book and the summary I am just telling you. And integrated rural means, you know, the so government of India is also giving a lot of grants to state government. See, here rural development, actually, majority, uh, the major work is to be done by the state government. Necessary funds, everything is allocated, allocated by the central government, actually. Call, irrigation, electricity, everything, you know, rural development, everything state government has to do. Of course, one more thing which I want to convey to you is that all state government, they, are, they don't have sufficient funds, actually. They, they are having money only by way of, you know, local uh, tax collection, and which is not sufficient, or, you know, whatever they are getting towards the GCT, GST share or whatever is that is not sufficient to meet 
the financial obligation of a state because they have to pay from their revenue salary and wages for their workers pension for their workers and many other development uh, programs also they have to do for that uh, they don't have money also now another thing is that they have to transform and modernize the villages also and a lot of activities are taking place in many many states some people have adopted uh, villages to uh, convert that into a model village that also uh, many thing uh, so, so many people have done it you know for example in uh, andhra pradesh uh, you know sometimes satya sai baba you know the anandapur uh, you know district in some villages or something irrigation everything he started same way here in, again andhra pradesh uh, one uh, you know uh, village was adopted by our famous cricketer uh, sachin tendulkar and he provided all facilities irrigation facilities and uh, you know uh, road uh, primary health center everything you know so many things he did uh, agricultural then market everything he set up so like that many people are uh, doing lot of service to for the improvement of uh, or development of the rural area so that is one then another uh, that is rural economy what is rural economy rural economy is not sufficient because poverty is there and uh, people are having the uh, more than 60 to 70 percent are dependent upon agriculture agriculture production has gone down actually considerably due to climatic condition etc okay now um, so what happened they are having jobs for six months only the afterwards you know they cannot cultivate anything because there is no water available and not only that um, irregular you know the rain and they cannot predict when the rain will come so when they have to do the cultivation with the, with the result of which and lot of and not only that when uh, then river uh, rain comes flood is there they are completely their agriculture property everything is destroyed and again you know maybe they have cultivated by taking loan from the cooperative bank and they have to repay back unless they produce unless they get the money from the market or wherever it is how can they repay back and when you know one or two that, that you know year if it is happening and interest compound interest etc is charged by the bankers and uh, you know bankers bankers will not give money unless you mortgage certain property immovable property or something else or you know guarantee by the state government employee or somebody else there are certain criteria now what time if you are not uh, remitting the amount they will attach that immovable property to the bank no bank will give a free loan to anybody so if they start giving loan like that then what will happen to the bank it will collapse like anything so there is only a temporary relief they are giving cooperative bank or whatever is there and uh, they have to repay back within the shortest be- uh, period otherwise the interest will multiply and it will be affected not only that for your information state like maharashtra some years back lot of uh, death suicide took place due to starvation or this uh, farmers uh, problems or grievances or whatever is there and even now also i don't think um, the respective state governments are um, giving adequate attention to the farmers uh, issues actually i don't think they are making a lot of propaganda whether it is state government or central government i am just you know, telling you free and frank see whether it is state budget whether it is central budget lot of things are announced but you ask yourself whether these funds are reaching to the needy people at that right time they have to get otherwise what is the use uh, you want to do you want to do the cultivation now you are getting money after 6 months then what are you going to do with that so bank or whatever the state government has to help the farmers because they are the backbone of the country unless our rural area grows develop you cannot the country cannot progress 
so diversity everything you know india's uh, testing our uh, regional basis some you know some areas you know we are cultivating wheat uh, some area rice and uh, some area many other grains and whatever is there something are exported uh, indigenously some uh, you know we have try, we always trying to reduce the import import is uh, outflow of funds export means inflow of, uh, sorry export means you know income in uh, import means money our money is going to some other place okay this is the thing and uh, so now another aspect is that it is also the local self government that administrative structure uh, whether it is block whether it is district whether it is village whether it is state or national alleviation of poverty uh, poverty so what happened when india got independent lot of poverty was existing and uh, through our five year plans and uh, we our we gave adequate uh, you know attention to eradicate uh, the poverty from the uh, many regions actually through our five year plans the many thing we had done but uh, more yet to be done because uh, suppose uh, cultivation you know proper an uh, irrigation facility should be there uh, that type of things you know some, somewhere it is not at all existing somewhere it is there and uh, now another thing which i want to tell you that administrative uh, machinery see uh, now we are all playing our role as a change agents government of india state respective state government they are all you know even the rural sector also lot of changes have taken place you know um, uh, you know roads and uh, so many electrification or many things you know so everybody has got a role as a change agent change of a, you know agent of change you know so a shadow man so lot of changes you can developmental infrastructure facility everything you know uh, bridges and so many things you know buses transportation everything you know uh, it is you know being uh, developed like anything now another thing three conditions then there are ideas suppose uh, government uh, ideas are the even panchayat is having every year the planning is there then the attitude attitude plays a vital role see ideas will be you know you can have your own idea and somebody else will have their own idea but collective responsibility effective participation of the people are required see it has uh, uh, we have noted that in the local self government people are not participating effectively coral is taking play from one group and another group which will uh, which will directly affect the normal functioning of the uh, either panchayat raj or municipal corporation or whatever is there that to give importance uh, for uh, because you know this is uh, tax based money each uh, you know what are money they are spending you know it is accountable okay so while formulating the budget whatever is there and spending everything we have to take adequate care but the corruption is also taking place in many places so we have to reduce that also audit should be there and uh, whoever is doing any malpractice or whatever is there they should be punished because then only other people will stop uh, doing that type of work and uh, it is not happening sometimes that is the problem because of the political interference which is not at all desirable then if it is there then there will not be any progress now i have seen that yesterday's new, uh, newspaper one of our ministers that is you know uh, he was uh, inaugurating 300 roads 300 roads uh, being developed development is not there only they put some mud and other thing just inauguration is taking place and then uh, during rainy season it will go also see development means real development actually you know properly uh, we have to construct roads and other thing building or whatever is there it should not collapse within 6 uh, months or whatever is there before inaugurating the building anything you know collapse or also that's uh, 300 roads you know i, I even I, one road uh, i know very well i used to travel 
but there is no improvement at all but it was inaugurated yesterday that type of we cannot say that is a rural development okay so politicians are doing many things for getting vote but uh, everything should be materialized and uh, properly what our dream or whatever is there and when you otherwise we should not give otherwise we should not give any uh, promises to uh, what is that uh, the citizens of the country then when we give the promise we have to fulfill those uh, thing also now another thing is that political leaders now here what happened they are interfering in the normal functioning of the local self government political leaders are elected and uh, so what happened there is a new uh, misunderstanding between you know the bureaucrats you can see that uh, panchayat secretary or municipal secretary versus then political whether it is mayor or uh, panchayat president or municipal president or whatever always some uh, cordial relation is not existing in many panchayats and with the result of which total progress is affected development is affected you can see that uh, always you know clashes are taking place budgets budgets are not approved many things are happening okay now that should not be there on political ground and selfish way we should not function always we should our intention should be for the progress of the citizen now historical uh, our administrative history see before independence the poor condition was there at that time also our british people were collecting the revenue that is called collector but subsequently you know district collector you know collecting the revenue so colonial rulers also they were doing already gupta samrajya then uh, what is that you know uh, uh, who are the babar or uh, so many other people you know akbar or whatever is there you know they were all collecting the revenue uh, this thing tax for the agriculture or the farmers or whatever is that they were giving the giving to the king okay by way of tax and failing which they will be punished also so uh, at that time also some schemes were there under its purview uh, even when uh, this was ruled by the king also some schemes were existing even earlier also now uh, national the state the district then the block and the villages the structure okay now national i told you there is a you now ministry of rural development under that uh, you know uh, now national level it is a big ministry and uh, previously and uh, one more thing i just want to tell you which uh, i don't know whether you are knowing you see uh, initially we were not giving uh, uh, attention to this rural development once upon a time small department was there in delhi that ministry uh, department of rural development it sometime it was attached to agriculture ministry sometime it was attached to some program implementation sometime some other ministry total confusion so what i am during that tenure of uh, rajiv gandhi who was the prime minister of india he created a separate ministry for this okay and uh, panchayat raj ministry from that uh, you know movement on not that before that also it, this was existing but election everything you know one president was there for 20 years in our in our village also one president was there for 21 years 20 years there was no election then he will officiate as president so here now it is not like that they can maximum work on up to 5 years after the election they can reelect no problem at all but you know another setback which we can, we are seeing that it is being handled by the rich people or those who are having muscle power sometimes in panchayat i go to municipality or wherever it is those who are then sometimes rich people are capturing the power Uh, you know so like sometimes gunda type of activities are also taking place not always everywhere but sometimes it is happening but, but there are good panchayats also very good schemes are there in like andhra pradesh and many other areas even uh, here in kerala that is uh, 2020 that that type of you know things are there many other places also it is there so here one more thing which uh, political leaders develop they are having their own uh, you know motives and um, our those who are working in panchayat raj we should they should be given orientation program they are coming from psc or employment exchange or backdoor entry or whatever are they are whether they are giving pro, getting proper training 
to serve the people of the you know panchayat or block or uh, gram uh, district panchayat or something see they are just coming all of a sudden they appear with the papa mail letter no systematic way and uh, some people are coming from employment agency but now it is just become very it has become very rare and some you know political party they are sponsoring on contractual basis which will be regularized later on these are all very bad things actually through psc through employment exchange 100% it is okay employment is employment is uh, exchange is set up for that purpose same way public service commission for your kind information kerala public service commission is one of the biggest uh, you know psc uh, you know uh, they as regard conducting exams and other thing so many so many so many classes and other thing but there are disadvantages also there is a big reputation of psc it is a bad reputation also what is that bad reputation i am talking about rural development what is the rural development people are coming and going from where they are coming nobody knows where they are going nobody knows say um, psc uh, total member psc what is the purpose of psc members trust members to provide employment to the unemployed youth isn't it that is the purpose no but we are providing employment for the psc members we are having 18 20 or something members biggest i think in the country kerala largest state like madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and maharashtra six members tamil nadu five member in the psc board kerala each group is having with the cpi with the some cpm with the something in you know, all party to please each and every party psc member psc member and tiruvangur uh, desam board a one 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 member with the result of which uh, it has become 20 or something like that member which is very 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 bad reason being we have to provide big good salary to these people we have to provide house we have to provide uh, car everything all facility they are uh, enjoying without any purpose i can tell you without any purpose what is that purpose i will tell you what are those see since i handle recruitment i can tell you it is not transparent sometimes see recently i saw that uh, last week psa gave an appointment letter in a kasar board based one girl she appeared many many, many i think uh, she was in the rank list she got uh, an appointment letter just imagine appointment letter with that appointment letter she just uh, went to that to a particular office to join duty they told we here there is no vacancy you can go from here what is the meaning that is there is no identification of post where to reply the employee and the lady was running pillar to post if she was going to some of it they will ask her to go to some other of it how it is happening appointment letter is issued in the letter you know first line you are being appointed as so and so in the grade of so and so so and so you will be posted to so and so department at so and so place that is the second line of the appointment letter so when somebody goes to whether it is kasar board whether it is kodi board or something where, where is the question of that there is no vacancy here so what type of analysis they had done what type of data they collected how they did the recruitment how who recommended see the these are the biggest question frankly i am just telling you though they are conducted in several examination no doubt about it but uh, it is not uh, transparent in my view because since you know i have handled many 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 recruitment in the government as in the central government is not on merit basis that i can tell you because eligible people merit her meritorious people should get to the job that is the duty of the psc trust psc that you know board uh, many people they are in the list of five uh, three four uh, list uh, in the rank list and they are selling idlis and uh, chapatis uh, there in Uh, you know on the road actually that should not happen and uh, one more thing which i want to communicate to here the rural development i am just uh, talking about employment exchange no problem uh, they whenever we can see that they are now here only 89 days you are getting 90th day break then when they will call nobody knows 
and not only who are calling politically and uh, you know affiliated people that is too bad i will tell you in maharashtra has seen so many people you know even from kerala through employment they they got regular employment income tax railway and many other department of atomic energy i have seen many 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 friends but it is not happening here even employment exchange service also regularized as a uh, regular employment here it is not like that the 89 days that also uh, who is getting the call nobody knows so we are happy that we have broken the guinness uh, book uh, the world record also 38 to 39 lakhs people are enrolled and the greatest uh, the uh, the news is that our doctors engineers phd mphil people are enrolled mba ro enroll in the employment exchange which is quite surprising actually engineer doctor as well as mba they are enrolling in employment exchange and one more setback is that the greatest setback i can tell you with my vast experience i am telling you this is also a bad thing what is that see whenever we are specifically we are mentioning the qualification at the time of recruitment you there should not be any over qualification see now even it is sometimes you know <coughs> engineer engineer or m tech or b tech or b e or whatever phd is also coming m phil also coming mba is also coming how it is happening a, a post which is reserved for fifth standard pun doctors are uh, you know applied 20000 uh, you know postgraduate students have applied for uh, for the appointment of pun 20000 total 20 18 lakhs how it is happening over qualification is disallowed but here it is not like that what they are people are thinking something is better than nothing and everybody is applying and they are entertaining no it is a big no hey when we are we were entertaining uh, you know accepting the application we used to give advertisement on all india basis and if you are asking graduate we will not accept uh, uh, you know if somebody post graduate then we will disqualify them understand so if if you are asking engineering degree if somebody phd you know we will not accept it over qualification See, the biggest we are doing injustice if you are taking suppose ita uh, government polytechnic uh, this is required na and if you are taking engineer btech b the where the polytechnic people will go see the same way fifth standard pun only cycling and fifth standard is required and for that mphil people are applying then where the fifth person will go so we never used to accept this type of thing but it is going on it is not desirable also in my opinion frank opinion i am just telling you but people are applying we used to, used to ask why you have applied then they used to tell something is better than nothing okay all right because you know they should they want work they want job okay let it be like that one more let me conclude with one more uh, this thing ksrtc you know the drivers and conductor over qualified no so many people are engineers and mtech and uh, i my own friends statistics and they are taking our uh, ksrt is driver and conductor is taking ugc net classes along with me so people are hiding their qualification that is a, so the psc has to play a crucial role to evaluate to analyze this type of application whatever qualification is prescribed in the advertisement only such people should be taken otherwise you are doing injustice because for others you, know, you give other advertisement no a lot of vacancies are coming and vacancies are not reported you know that one girl yesterday uh, i have seen in the newspaper uh, she apply, her application was considered uh, she sent the application earlier but uh, her vacancy was notified at midnight to 2 o'clock 12 minutes 10 minutes 12 to 2 o'clock and 10 minutes and you know they considered as that we didn't get the application from her see she applied earlier but they just marked that you know 
after 12:10 midnight like that irregularities are going on which is not correct because you know we should not do any injustice during recruitment or whatever is we are serving the people you know okay we are not serving our pocket you know this type of people are doing service to safeguard their family matters and their pocket only not giving employment to this type of people okay so this is the thing which i want to tell you about the recruitment it is not sometime transparent you may you, you may be having different opinion but my opinion I, i just told then rural inherited from the colonial that i already told you structure nationalist district okay then in the uh, block there is a bdo block development officer under him there is technical officers one each for agriculture and animal husbandry bdo there are two technical officers and one is for agriculture another is animal husbandry their government offices are bdo everything eh? okay then but uh, panchayat people are elected only members panchayat secretary is a government employee okay but others are elected members okay of course some uh, technical people even engineers or computer operator they are uh, through bsc or whatever is it okay then uh, corporation engineering then uh, see they are all uh, uh, reporting afterwards you know to collector of the uh, state now here collector district collector now remember this uh, this uh, online class i don't know because there may be you know people from other states from andhra so many people are there from navy don't think like that here people are not there but so many student learners are there they are from indian navy that's why you know we have to speak only in english because there, are, there was one person from andhra pradesh also lot of people so here i just want to tell you there is a different here in southern states district collector is there but northern states in india it is the designation is called a deputy commissioner there is divisional commissioner also that is three four districts senior most ias of uh, ias officer is called division more three four districts under him like that it is there. but here it is not there in uh, of course in kerala only district collector is there he is also magistrate district magistrate also and he is taking he is the in charge of the uh, state so main duty is to collect the revenue to control all the developmental activities in the state and not only that he is having that uh, judicial you know that is <coughs> shoot at sight order law and order problem arises and uh, he has got that power also suppose one elephant elephant you know very well you can see in the newspaper collector can order for uh, uh, shoot only the order can be issued by the district collector or district magistrate or uh, uh, or authorized person not anybody else not the assessor or somebody else so the, he is having lot of powers actually he is enjoying that so engineering okay then there is a community development program that is called a cdp then there is integrated rural development agriculture then animal husbandry it is there village uh, village industry is there lot of village village industries are also there and panchayat and block sometimes you know they are constructing uh, uh, schools also upper primary school lower primary, they cannot conduct colleges and other thing i don't think that much money they are having but i have seen many schools and uh, upper primary uh, what is that uh, ugc a uh, sorry um, lower primary upper primary whatever is there you know uh, that that the uh, lot of uh, block dollar, the block is uh, doing that then another important aspect is that bdo block they have got a role uh, to uh, you know maintain that to ensure proper health is the, uh, health in the respective villages because any epidemic any injection or whatever is there the, he has to take any health officer is also there sometimes under him and uh, there is a ngo ngo plays a vital role in village administration ngo everybody see doing the uh, taking the census and other thing ngos are also help you but now during covid season asha workers and so many other people you know lot of people extended their help and not only flood and everything 
everybody you know worked unitedly and achieved the result and social welfare also now another aspect is that appointment of village level worker see we are talking about how we are administering the villages there is we are working village level worker see what happened there is gram sabha there are so many gram sabhas there gram sabhas three four gram sabha or five gram then it will become a gram panchayat gram panchayat uh, gram panchayat then uh, three four gram panchayat will become a block panchayat three four block panchayat or four or five block panchayat will become a district panchayat okay so here to work in the villages we are appointing village level officers also v l uh, worker v l w and uh, then mobilization of people's uh, you know participate every program will be successful with the active cooperation of from the people actually otherwise you don't do anything for you doing everything otherwise there will be protest when you uh, in the villages you know uh, sometimes you know if you want to construct some nuclear power plant or something village uh, they will resist so with the cooperation of village people only everybody the participation is required for uh you know making you know uh, development of activities then another thing is the ministry of R uh, rural development is there under that or state department of rural De uh, development is there. then um, see department of rural development under that you know the uh, uh drinking uh department of drinking and department of water supply department of rural development there is a department called drinking uh, water uh, drinking water supply and uh, you know uh, other other one is that you know district level also it is the ministry level uh, central it is ministry state it is uh, uh, department of rural development means you know uh, there will be two secretary one is uh, drinking water and uh, another is uh, some other thing also in rural development but uh, state to state it differs sometimes you know and these are all coming agriculture is coming on state subject for your information one of your uh, colleagues uh, he was asking last time uh, i am i am talking about uh, total india because this book is uh, made from delhi so state to state uh, there will be variations appointment offices way of functioning everything because agriculture is coming under you know state subject you know that there is union subject there is state subject there is concurrent list you yeah, uh, there is 96 or something like that in union list that is indian railway air force military uh, sorry this um, reserve bank of india external affairs and uh, mind and uh, you know so many other things you know airport uh, everything you know it is coming under defense you know all this thing in it is coming under uh, you know center okay but state has got uh, 466 subjects education agriculture jail irrigation uh, minimum wages fixation and uh, you know as for the directive principle that uh, you know the equal distribution among uh, rich and uh, you know poor like the food supply everything public distribution system everything is state subject so there is state there are 66 other one is 96 then there is a concurrent list that is 46 or 47 one or two will differ sometimes you know what is concurrent list one state cannot control that type of thing because suppose a river kaveri water kaveri river four state is having the power we got kaveri water starts you know from karnataka but flowing through uh, tamil nadu kerala is also eligible in vayanad all this thing and pondicherry also so four states have got right in kaveri water same with ganga ganga how many states so at that time one state cannot uh, you cannot say that we will not give the water the how water will flow down only now even this ganga river which is flowing from you know himalaya whatever is there how can you this restrict to delhi or agra or whatever is there it will go no to 
Bengal or Reese or whatever is there, you know. So that type of things, uh, one state is not having that power and uh, it will be coming under concurrent list. Center and state is responsible. One example. Another example. Divers, marriage. It is also concurrent list. You know why? Even one person from Tamil Nadu can marry Rajasthan also. Even one ANK person can marry Assam also. So how one state, uh, you can go to one family court other? It is coming central. Then, <clears throat> another aspect is forest environment. Forest and environment. Forest is not limited to one state only. No? Hima, uh, Himalaya, how many states? And uh, this, um, you know, so many, that is, you know, crossing through many, uh, so many states, you know. That this type of things are coming, environment, everything is coming, uh, you know, <clears throat> under concurrent list. So these things are there. Now, under uh, rural uh, development, uh, there is punch, there are so many divisions actually. Department of Rural Development, uh, you know, there are two departments under national level Ministry of Rural Development. There are two departments. Ministry of Rural Development, there are two departments, one in Department of Rural Development. Under that, so many divisions are there. Panjayat Raj Division, Alleviation, Poverty Alleviation Division, then Gram Saroga, Saroga Joli, then Employment, Yojana Division, then Rural Connectivity Division, then uh, what is that? Uh, resources Division, uh, Rapid, what is that? La sorry, land resources division and monitoring division, finance division. Okay, these are coming under so many, you know, so many other divisions also. There is no shortage of divisions, you know, because we want to create a lot of jobs also. You know? So, divisions are the but uh, functioning, God knows. Another thing under ministry of uh, you know the rural development another department is called drinking and water supply drinking water supply drinking water supply drinking the, there are two divisions drinking water uh, you know supply division drinking water supply division one division another is rural sanitation division okay so all divisions are headed by joint secretary Supported by other staff, administrative and staff as well as technical staff. Our divisions are handled by Joint Secretary. Okay, IAS. Okay, then program of the uh, you know ministry for broad categories. Ministry. What are the uh, category uh, the objectives of this ministry? Self employment program, wages employment program. Area Development Program, Basic Needs Program. Once again, I repeat, four broad categories, program of ministry. That is Self-Employment Program, Wage Employment Program, Area Development Program, Basic Needs Program. Another thing, ministry has got the following institutions. That is NIRD. NIRD is the, and that is one institution that is uh, uh, yes, okay. Uh, NIRD means National Institute of R Rural Development. National Institute of Rural. Then NFRD, the National Fund for Rural Development. So these are the now administrative setup in state level. Central I already told you. State Andodia program for small farmers. You no know, poor people, you know, for uh, free ration and other thing. Then marginal farmers, you know, neither this side or nor that side. Agricultural labels are the agricultural workers. And, uh, you know, that uh, minimum wages. Here, what is the problem, you know? Minimum wages are to be given for ladies and uh, gents, you know, same salary, equal remuneration. But in our villages, it is not happening. Uh, male is getting one wage and female for doing the same job, he, she is getting some other job. It is not a correct. There is Equal Remuneration Act, the Minimum Wages Act for the specific job, whoever it is, the wages are same. Okay. So there is a NREP, National Rural Employment Program, DPAP, 
drought prone areas program that is wherever you know a lot of places are the drought you see in rajasthan eastern maharashtra madhya pradesh uttar pradesh maharashtra i told you even andhra pradesh so drought prone uh, you can anticipate there will not be any rain so there is drought prone areas then another one is rlegp rural landless uh, you know employment uh, and guarantee program there is no land available for the farmers so they are giving assure budan budan you know vinoda bhave abinuba bhave like that you know government is also part time you know so many we are also doing that you know land distribution but it is hopeless they are giving the land in the hill side where you know wild animals are the and there is no drinking facility there is no elder, uh, electricity available that type of land distribution is also taking place which is no purpose sometimes you know um some of course if they are lucky they will get good uh, accommodation otherwise i have seen that many many areas it is you know either located in jungle where you know even for water they have to go far away there is no rural electrification everything that type of housing we should not give also so after all everybody is human being and uh, government has to take care of each and everybody it is their fundamental duty then ddp desert development program you take the example of rajasthan lot of desert is there you know so now lot of irrigation facility everything is there in rajasthan so like that one example i showed you desert desert development program another district level uh, you know administrative setup in district level administrative setup in that is headed by district collector then another is under him there is a planning committee also district wise planning there is a planning officer district planning officer also directly reporting to district collector then sfda small farmer development agencies are the m f a l marginal farmers and agricultural laborers development agencies are the uh, about the bdo when i was talking I forgot to tell you block development officer is assisted by about eight extension personnel or uh, eight extension person extension officers that is to take care of agriculture animal husbandry cooperation social welfare irrigation etc etc in block level okay now village level workforce allocated gram saver see village level worker is also called a vlw eh? village level worker is also called gram saver or sevika gram saver or sevi they are rendering a lot of service eh? they are distributing pension they are doing a lot of people to the people you know the, the farmers and everything then these are all achieved because of lot of you know ground work was done lot of committee was set up earlier by the government of india balwandarai mehta studies i think he was deputy chief in or something in andhra pradesh early uh, sorry punjab earlier he only that committee recommended this he is the father of uh, you know this uh, panchayat raj system actually balwandarai mehta perhaps and i remember when i read uh, like that so he in his committee government set up the one committee under him he was an eminent personality so he suggested decentralization of powers three tier organization link already told three tier panchayat gram panchayat block district okay then t n v t for trivandrum v for violet t n v not a tv training and visit we have to visit the villages and we have to provide training to the people see what am i will tell you know uh, during covid season people were not ready to take vaccination so these people visited and gave training how it is done what is the side effect people were not willing to take a vaccination so these are the objectives of tnv personnel then kvic adai khadi and village industries corporation you know that is also a village industry khadi and uh, uh village industries corporation is also there everywhere it is there then creation of drda that is 
district rural development uh, you know agency district rural development agency uh, overall in charge of planning implementation district wise planning implementation and monitoring and evaluation of the program in a district uh, okay the functions of drda is to provide information regarding the parameters dimensions and requirements of the program in the district and we have got a very big role and the block level agencies and to appraise them of their task in this regard they are few, uh, uh, giving the task to all bdos and other thing you have to do like this then to coordinate and oversee the survey and preparation of the per per prospective plan sorry perspective plan and annual plan everything they have to do for the district so all block uh, development officers they have to prepare their block finally it will be compiled in uh, drda okay district level to ensure effectiveness of the program by regular evaluation and uh, monitoring monitoring is required if the evaluation is required that is missing sometimes many many uh, money, uh, programs you know we are uh, uh, spending money but uh, proper evaluation is not done how we have spent the money how much uh, you know uh, we have given to the contractor we are giving secur uh, whether we have taken security deposit there is a warranty period so many things legal agreement is there. a lot of things are, then after construction then whether you know suppose if they are constructing a bridge then a maintenance then uh, if something you know building collapse uh, the, whether they will re redo it the job all these things are mentioned in the agreement then uh, like that then to send the periodic returns to the state government in the prescribed format so this gentleman drd authorities they have to give periodic report to the government local self government okay uh, all these things so many activities are there now another governing body of drdl uh, who are the governing body uh, who are the members governing body one all mps of the district one district is not one mp oh, mps are not considered in one uh, district okay they are coming from one district may be having three four uh, mps so all mps are included in the drda and mlas of that district MPs and MLAs uh, will come. MPs and MLAs. You know, for example, uh, take the example of Palakkad. Palakkad, so two, three MPs are there. Okay, two, three MPs are in Trichur. Three, four, uh, three or something, four MPs are there. You know, depending upon the area or population, uh, this is bifurcated. Uh, okay. So like that, uh, so many all the MPs will be member. Then uh, MLAs will be member. Cooperative bank. They are rendering. They are uh, giving loan to the people. You know, so central cooperative bank will be there. They are also member of this. Then chairman of regional rural bank in the district. He will also be the member. Villa Parishad, chairman of the district panchayat. He is a member in DRDA. DRD, uh, district uh, okay rural development authority so then an officer of the lead bank what is lead bank main bank of the district see suppose syndicate bank in kannur here uh, in ernakulam district some other bank i think kanara bank or something some i don't know i think uh, uh, union bank or something like that so leading bank how many branches they have got in a particular district so that they also will be a member then district employment officer hello district employment officer also drda how many people vacancies are coming how many people are nominated for a vacancy how many people are selected by the respective uh, what is their offices everything he will give the report then district employment officer then another thing one representative in the rural woman ngos and preferably a beneficiary sometimes what i forgot i think ngo is not there ngo okay now oh ngo is not there that is consumer protection okay 
So these are the things. Uh, ah, another effort which I want to communicate, there will be district industry center in each and every district. They will, um, you know, while we are starting some industries in the particular district, they will help. What are the forms, where to go, how to go, what are the license fee, everything. They will help to set up industries in particular district. So every district is having district industry center. Okay. Then another. In 73rd Constitution Amendment 1992, a summary I will just tell you, I am not elaborating. And um, see, we, uh, we have got a rigid constitution. A constitution is the longest. I think uh, somebody is appearing, I think, civil service, I don't know. Midina, what, what are you going, uh, what, uh, you are doing something actually? Mm. Civil service, okay, right. See, our constitution, about, uh, if you want to know anything about the constitution, you can ask me anything. I will stop at 7.20, you can ask any question about the constitution. See, our constitution is the longest written constitution in the world. Constitution Okay, 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 okay. So our constitution is taken from Australia, Ireland, USA, UK, Canada, like that, like that, like that. Okay. Good things we have taken. And Dr. Ambedkar with the who was the chairman and there was a committee headed by so many. Nehru, Pandijala Nehru, uh, Vallabhai Patel, and so many other people, Dajendra Prasad and many other people. And, uh, you know, constitution came into effect. Then the 6th January 1950. Okay. So, what happened here? One thing, it is a secular. Preamble of the constitution cannot be changed. Please remember this thing. Especially those who are appearing. This is a recorded message. Preamble of the constitution cannot be changed, but other things you can change. That also I will tell you what it is. Structure of the constitution cannot be changed. In that you can add for the welfare of the people, like Panchayat Raj. But the preamble, secular, democratic, sovereign, that you cannot change. India is, you know, like that, like that, like that. That cannot be changed. Secular country. And not, uh, you know, not uh, belonging to any religion, that type of thing, democratic country, that federal structure, that all these things, you know, that cannot be changed at all. If it is changed, then you cannot see India is not like this. Okay. So, that is. now another thing, for amending any constitution, uh, any clauses in the constitution, two third majority is required in the Lok Sabha, Raj Sabha. You cannot change the constitution like that. Constitution for changing the constitution, two third majority should be there. Then only, but we have changed many, many constitution uh, amendment we made. For example, previously what is uh, this thing? Twenty one years. Now it has eighteen years. Same way, we, uh, you know the constitution uh, says that up to the age of fourteen, all children are eligible to have the free education. Like that, you know, a lot of amendments we made. One amendment is the 30, 73rd Constitution Amendment. That is setting up Gram Panchayat. Okay? I already told about Panchayat a lot, so I don't want to tell. It happened in uh, 1992. It's 73rd Constitution, that is our Gram Panchayat, and uh, election, preservation, and uh, you know how they are working with the structure, everything they, it was mentioned in that. Now, 74th Amendment is also there. But uh, that is 74th, you know, that is municipality and uh, corporation, everything, you know, the, uh, that is also uh, coming. Uh, th that is how to see in rural area, it is panchayat. Town, it is municipality. City, it is like corporation. All the, uh, but duration, everybody has got five year duration. Everybody, you should get elected. And there will be president in, uh, in the, you know, in, uh, what is that, um, 
uh, if it is uh, city mayor first city then okay the municipality there will be chairperson then uh, it is town 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 and uh, uh, then panchayat of course it is rural this is the thing and 74th amendment that is article 243 74th amendment of the constitution there is this type of amendment also they made so district planning committee is already dpc district planning committee then gram panchayat i already told gram sabha i already told ministry or offices of the state government are uh, chairing dpc see uh, district planning committee is headed by uh, a minister either revenue minister or some authorized minister sometimes some district will not have any minister so government will nominate each one minister to each district so he will be the chairman and uh, gram sabha i already told seven okay gram panchayat okay panchayat raj institution public uh, panchayat raj institution that i already told political leaders social elite what is the problem you know in panchayat raj system sometimes many states in the country that you know due to political they are uh, either they will become the president or chairman or chairperson or something and they are doing lot of uh, you know their own you know muscle power everything that is also not good actually so it is there in the then the social elite money minded then um, conflicting perception what is that they are elected person and political politician they are as well as government uh, uh, employees there is conflicting uh, you know uh, their, their vision is uh, different actually then uh, misunderstanding exists politic politician is having see i will tell you one example previously each corporation will be headed by a chairman i am not talking about northern part uh, northern states i don't know about this here northern states in some states i don't want to na- tell the name all corporation will be headed by chairman but there will be managing director also managing director is also ha- having all power but chairman can only attend the board meeting etc but chairman will interfere on routine matters and managing director will not be able to function smoothly it was the story in india earlier i will tell you this was happening ntpc chairman somebody managing director somebody steel authority of india chairman somebody air india chairman will be somebody and managing director will be somebody and there will be conflict and nay, they will not be able to implement any program always the tussle between chairman and managing director the credit goes again to rajiv gandhi when he was the prime minister of india he fit the tenor i just merged chairman and managing director he only brought the circle i read i was in the government that time i read the circular till that time chairman was separate very difficult actually because ah uh, chairman will be politician managing director will be ias see there will be always conflict or technocrat always so rajiv gandhi issued a circular uh, that henceforth the or it will be chairman managing that and minimum period was fixed five years otherwise what happened when they will be run out nobody knows so nobody will take initiative no chairman or managing director so he fixed the time also the credit will go to him now you can see every organization chairman and managing at least if you hear this remember me okay every organization previously it was not like that either chairman will be minister managing director will be different it will be like that or politician mla or mp like that now it is not like that chairman managing director fixed now even here in india is chairman managing director ceo is the now uh, recently it has privatized you know it is there. so political party misunderstanding no harmony was existing at the time between uh, the chairman and uh, managing director okay then another as uh, there was a ashoka mehta committee about uh, panchayat raj system there were so many committee how to these are all committee they set up for the improvement of 
local self government each committee has recommended how best we can do or implement panchayat raj institution in the country that's all then cprt that is council for the advancement of people action and rural technology capart capart council for the advancement of people action and rural technology they so, you know that is voluntary organization rural development the assistance that they were providing uh, whatever you know technical uh, you know missionary whatever they developed you know so about that uh, you know incentive everything was giving technical know how was given and so many other things so chairman c c b r t chairman will be union minister and of rural development union minister for rural development maximum strength of 100 members because each state uh, department of rural development is there so each state will be represented in the union territories and uh, executive members 25 in the cparrt that is council for the advancement of people action in the rural technology kindly read that to provide in technical this thing support in the rural area missionary or whatever is there the another thing is strengthening the maintenance of accounts and audit i already told the maintenance of accounts and audit at the panchayat raj institution is not at the desired level every body complying sometimes you know proper auditing is not done money is not sent properly somebody has taken somebody has taken like that you know for constructing building you know huge expenditure was incurred and some people uh, you know uh, government building they they are not given in rent etc like that or they will take a, on dental basis the accommodation and the government has to pay the rent etc so many irregularities then only through social audit only it can be then whatever they are doing the assessment has to be done what are the progress they made that assessment has to be done the community development program that bdo is responsible for that training I and mean, we visit to village i already told you then evaluation of organization that also i told you india is the only major federal democracy in the world that gives you know constitutional recognition constitutional recognition to its bureaucracy okay Th- that classic instance of federation a uh, federalism the united states of america does not nor do canada and australia nor does the federal republic of germany indian exception is clearly a legacy, legacy of colonial rule sooner or later serious thoughts will have to be given to deleting all references to public service in the constitution you know what is that there is constitution created bureaucrats election commissioner attorney general chief election commissioner no then uh, this upsc chairman how many example you want now control and auditor i already told you chief election commissioner i already told you okay then attorney general i already told you i the like that many many offices are there so they they are all bureaucrats okay they are the head of you know various and they are appointed by the president of india all are constitutional posh appointed by the president of india and they to take oath before assuming their duties then administrative control and the state okay training and coordination i told you the community development program community you know that no development program okay the national state district level i, t- I told you this is unit 1 uh, then panchayat raj unit 2 this you see main purpose of panchayat raj is decentralization of power local self government that is panchayat raj so here also it is mentioned that rajiv gandhi okay so panchayat raj system 1950 there is a mini, uh, cabinet minister also the big ministry also lot of panchayats are the lot of you know even in kerala also i think more than 776 or something like a municipal panj- uh, 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 gram the gramajayati is there and so many municipalities uh, i think 66 i don't remember exactly it is there and uh, corporation six 
okay so uh, when it is small state please remember that so a decentralization power we are distributing the power okay panchayat raj and that is called self government you have to rule yourself democracy has to start from the ground level then history then history that you can read what is how it was formulated then mahatma gandhi said independence must begin at the lowest level the one thing uh this type of things are very 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 essential nowadays uh his vision that india lies in villages every village should be a republic gram swaraj with a panchayat having full power operating at the grass root level as much as at the national level gandhi ji is vision okay post indian period just read the post independent day. lot of improvement has been done democratic decentralization democratic what the election is taking place there is you know uh, nominated person president is there reservation point is there not for uh, women and uh, scst where reservation is there lot of other things are there then uh, district level villa parishad district level okay then block level mean intermediate level block level lower level mean village panchayat in the cell, local self government that is panchayat raj system these are the uh, segments and what is that district level that is zilla parishad intermediate level block level lower level village panchayat doesn't mean the lower level because in the structure it is coming like that then there was ashoka committee as ashoka uh, mehta committee that is okay only just uh, you read that nothing is there actually then gvk rao eminent personality he was you know talking about the zilla parishad zilla women district panchayat zilla parishad and uh, you know sub committee election uh, election to local previously there was no election now it is very smoothly it is going on and uh, uh, properly that election is held in every five year then l m singhvi committee eminent personality there was a committee that he was talking about a local self government then participation of individual attached to in political parties the uh, then nyaya panchayat law ah sometimes panchayat is also uh, you know small small issues you know tussle between one party and another party they are issuing some uh, you know guidelines or whatever is there okay sarkariya committee very important committee that is you know power to the states and uh, with the center state relation very important committee center state relationship i will not take much is it true, correct now center state relationship see it is a federal structure we are not a federation federal structure means union and state okay the, so we are not federation and uh, here what happen union government has to provide all facilities to the state all states we cannot see where, which political party it is ruling or chief minister or whatever you cannot see that it is part of our beloved country so there should be a cordial relation between the chief executive chief executive of the state that is chief minister as well as the prime minister okay and uh, you know because states are not having resources central government has to give a very good cordial relation budget provision railways and many other things you know uh, everybody uh, now it is you know it is very cordial relation everybody is having but political uh, you know something will be different but uh, as a country one greatest advantage of our country you know that when we are in trouble though many religion many caste many languages many states many union territories but when the nation is in danger we are one at that time you will not say you are from telangana you are from tamil nadu you are from punjab you are from my when war take place pakistan war bangladesh war china war in, we were all one 
nationalism, there is no compromise. No political party will interfere. National issues. Please remember that. Okay? That is the greatness of our country, actually. When we are in trouble, everybody is one. No, no, come, come. at that time, there is no opposition, there is no ruling party. We will extend all support. I mean, general public also, even corporate also, they will extend full cooperation. When, you know, uh, what about uh, our prime minister's relief fund, what about the chief minister's relief fund, blood was there. It was, you know, uh, blooded with offers and other things. Now, why? Because we believe all our, our brothers and sisters and we have to take care of them. That is the greatest. And the war, a lot of people will die and the widows will be the children. You know? A lot of problems will be there. At that time, we have to take care of these people. So, the government needs money, right? So, this is the thing. Sarkaria committee means state government uh, relations. Constitutional amendment, I already told you. Brain child of Rajiv Gandhi, I told you, no? In your book, it is mentioned. Brain child of Rajiv Gandhi. You know, you will be surprised. It so happened, I don't want to elaborate because of the shortage of time. I was also affected because of Rajiv, Rajiv Gandhi because he con uh, started, uh, he invited directly the district uh, collectors to Delhi. Or discussing about the panchayat, uh, how to how you are going to implement it. Batch wise, all district collectors he called to Delhi. So when somebody was traveling, wanted to travel at that time, uh, I was traveling to Delhi, and my seat was, or my you know family seat was taken by some other minister. So at that time, Rajiv Gandhi. Was, so when we asked a reason for it, we reserved a seat somebody else took from me, and uh, the reason which I asked. At that time, they told that they have to attend a meeting convened by the Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, late Rajiv Gandhi, to discuss about the implementation of Panchayat Raj institutions in the country. So, brainchild. Then, another aspect is power to the people. We are giving, isn't it? Gram Panchayat, President is there. He is just ruling Panchayat block. Yes, they are doing. Gram Panchayat, block develop, uh, district, they are doing. Okay? So, power we are giving to the people. And in order, woman empowerment, what, what see, you talk about that also, no? 50% uh, are, Panchayat the present is a woman. So, woman empowerment is also there. They are also uh, participate in the democratic process of the country. Okay? Then, Gram Sabha, three-tier model, reservation seat put told, composition of Panchayat, I already told duration of panchayat, already told five year conduct of election, I already told secret ballot. What the voting machine is the same. How we are conducting election to our uh, gram, uh, legislative assembly as well as parliament, same way we are conducting ballot box. Okay, then voting machine, then there will be a uh, finance commission. Yes. Then development activities, economic development, education, health, welfare. These are all the duty of our Panchayat Raj institution. Then infrastructure development. What is that? Road development, irrigation, construction of small bridges. Okay. And welfare facilities, recreation club, health center, primary health center, animal health, husbandry, uh, so many things, you know. Uh, you know, medical facilities, you know, a lot of things, you know, they have to provide and visiting, uh, visit to your respective houses and old age home and going to old people, elder people, elder citizens and what are their problems, whether they are getting pension or medicine or whatever is the everything they are doing that. Okay, then Constitution Amendment I told you, then uh, Gram Saraj, Gandhiji's vision. Swaraj, you know, that is free. That is from all disturbance of everything. Swaraj. Okay? So, uh, every village shall have a elected gram, so I have told. Approve the, uh, they will approve the plans, okay? They will submit the plan. And the gram panchayat will obtain from related gram. Uh, that is okay. All panchayat, uh, you know, they will submit a, a yearly plan. And uh, another thing is that Planning and management of minor water bodies. 
See, water body irrigation facilities, you know. And nowadays, you know, uh, rain harvesting and other things, you know, that also they are doing. So, wa minor water, big one, they cannot do that, no? <laughs> they cannot construct any dam or anything. Small thing, you know, water. Then, scheduled areas and uh, interested in panjayat. Okay, then cremation grounds, library, primary school, UP level schools, upper primary. Okay, then the state legislature shall endow the panchayat and the gram specifically. So the state government will take uh, through gazette notification this type of things, you know, if any, you know, merging with uh, you know panchayat creations and other things, you know, uh, through gazette, gazette notification only, all these things, and these are all legal. NDIT, okay? Uh, government, uh, uh, pa, the Legislative Assembly has to, this is a state subject. So, power to enforce prohibition or regulate to restrict the sale and consumption of alcohol. See? The license, they have to give panjayat. Okay? Then, ownership of minor forest produce. Minor forest produce adam ownership the uh, our panchayat is having then power to prevent land alienation in the scheduled areas land then the power to manage village market village see what happened all vegetable everything so many you know uh, cattle and everything you know cow so many things you know they are selling so weekly or something, the market will be there. We have seen that in North India, every day or alternative days, you know, vegetable market is available and it is uh, controlled by this type of municipality or panchayat. Then village market, that is whatever items, you know, you want, either vegetable or something, you will get it. Clothes, chappals, everything. You know, so many other things, so many, not only this grain, uh, all this, you know, uh, water requirement is the basic requirement, you will get it. Then, local plans, uh, state legislation that may endow. See, state government will endow panchayat with the powers and authority. Panchayat cannot do whatever they want. State government will entrust the responsibility. They are formulating the rules and regulations and panchayat authority, they are supplied, supposed to comply with. Okay, that may be necessary to enable them to function as institutions of self government and contain safeguards to ensure that panchayats at the higher level do not assume the powers and authority of any panchayat at the lower level or the gram so interference or something is not required and in panchayat they should not do any job other than what is the what they are empowered to do see or, uh, they don't have whatever power they are having suppose spending expenditure everything ceiling is fixed by the government over and above they have to take approval from the higher level panchayat president cannot do that only minor minor expenditure he can do all you know construction of buildings and other things he has to take the approval okay so uh, here then here what i wonder in this unit we have studied the wall uh, committee we told gvk rao committee singhvi committee sarkaria committee and shadow cost shadow tribes that is also there in the villages so they, we have to take care of the mall or all of the marketing see what happens many people are struggling for food and uh, a basic education, basic medical facilities, everything. So, panchayat, they have to go do the vaccination and provide uh, whatever help is required by these uh, tribal areas or whatever is there, they, they have to do that. Okay, a lot of responsibility they have got. So, decentralization, democratic decentralization, I told you that, you know, giving the power to the people. Then uh, liberal, okay, policy. Policy is formulated by the government or central government or state government. Policy. And Panchayat cannot make any policy. All policy, because uniformity should be there, no? One Panchayat is not having more power. 
one corporation cannot do whatever corporation municipal act is there only that way they can function remember and one corporation can do this one corporation cannot do this no uniform uh, rules are there okay see what i mean all rules are acts are approved by the uh, you know this uh, parliament both houses of parliament that is lok sabha and raj sabha and uh, subsequently it will come to state then state will uh, uh, approve through their legislative state legislature please remember one thing lok sabha is the lower house raj sabha is the upper house now in states some states are having two sabhas one is legislative assembly another is legislative council state in small states only legislative assembly bigger states like andhra pradesh sorry uttar pradesh rajasthan maharashtra like this like this big states west bengal tamil nadu they are having legislative council that to that, that is count legislative council is the upper house and legislative assembly is the lower house okay so structure is different different that there is a rule uh, if any doubt is there you can ask me it is a, a, by the council created by the council all states are not having not only that see, there are some rules uh, for making legislative council first of all the assembly has to pass the resolution then it will go to delhi uh, that is our uh, thing and uh, our uh, lok sabha and rajya sabha will take a decision about it not that you can make any sabhas or uh, councils and other thing they have to see that the circumstances under which the state government has asked it to form the legislative council that also like rajya sabha in rajya sabha you know that uh, 230 or 250 people are out of which 12 people are nominated by from the arts culture sport and everything by the president of india the same way here in uh, legislative council also nominated members are the, through the governor of the state governor is the head of the state actually and uh, real the thing is chief minister but uh, no, constitutional head is governor in the way india president of india and real executive is the prime minister but please remember prime minister is one among the other ministers because prime minister though he is having a lot of powers and other thing okay but you know he is one among the other he is the leader of other ministries that's all and uh, one more thing which i want to communicate here i will talk a general thing actually see the Uh, even the cabinet ministers and other they cannot directly go to president of india without uh, informing the prime minister actually because he is the head actually so like that certain protocol we have to maintain actually the ministers or uh, they have to inform the next level who is the reporting and other thing they cannot directly go to uh, you know the president for you know meeting or updating something unless prime minister asked to do so or some necessity that's all another aspect is that when our prime minister visits or something you know other abroad or something like that or if a chief minister is uh, visiting somebody it is the constitutional duty that uh, periodically sometimes you know they will meet the president of prime minister will meet with the president of india and they will appraise Uh, what really happened in the foreign visit or national issues they he will discuss covid or whatever is there you know this type of major major things you know he will apply these are the constitutional obligation the same way the state also the uh, chief minister will apply the governor this is the thing next is coming cooperative rural development here yeah, cooperative sector that uh, cooperative sector we are having banks we are having fertilizer uh, this thing factory and you know this amul it is a cooperative thing ifco cooperative thing there are corporate hospital and uh, especially 
uh, we a uh, cooperative society employer cooperative society so many cooperative venture is there that is with the participation of the you know either the employees and uh, you know this um, so many other people like this the cooperative this thing also the and their intention is not to make a profit actually so that is providing employment and uh, you know we take we they are taking the you take the example of amul that is in uh, anand the uh, kerala district in gujarat uh, ladies are more and uh, they are producing you know all types of amul products which has become the largest milk producing in the country so remember it is as the cooperative sector so the so many brands and lady empowerment they are self sufficient they are all getting employment lot of things like that many other areas also here in kerala kudumbashri is kudumbashri but it is not a cooperative kudumbashri is not a cooperative it is only you know another uh, society or whatever is there i don't know and cooperative they saying a different agree object that registered under you know various other act okay now india lives in villages mahatma gandhi already told in a bit an agriculture is the main thing and uh, meaning and word living thinking together people living and thinking together okay then another thing is that principle of cooperation voluntary and principle cooperation is voluntary not compulsory open membership and democratic member of control who those who are the member of the cooperative sector they are eligible to vote and uh, everything there will be by laws okay how they are and not only it is to be registered you cannot have your own cooperative sector uh, office without the registration and many here many charity organization is there and they are taking sometimes it was reported they are taking the forum funds also so no it is illegal uh, against uh, rbi guidelines or whatever is there whenever you are making any ngos or whatever cooperative society everything through legal this thing our cooperative society uh, i know you have to get it uh, registered then you have to prepare the balance sheet and submit and there should be elected members president secretary and who and the liability close and if something loss comes who is responsible for that so many things are there in the by laws by laws they it has to be approved by the register of cooperative society okay you have to maintain registers document member register members register dividend register so many other you know uh, things are there as prescribed in the cooperative society act and education training cooperative movement is very very essential you know and uh, gandhi ji also encourages this concern for community see cooperative means concern for community you know so i will tell you here one india coffee house take the example cooperative sector i started by ak gobalan comrade late see all our employees of so, uh, employees only created coffee board uh, indian coffee house employees they made india coffee house as a cooperative sector okay all are and not only that when they make profit it is di- distributed among the employees but uh, ev- everywhere approval has to be because you know when they make profit tax is to be given gst everything is to, what is payable to the government you have to give you going to take the money do it is charity cooperative society or whatever it is there are rules so you have to abide by the rules and regulation of the state or the country state is have got a separate rule center has got a separate rule please remember that concern for community community and free independent already forced independent then i uh, here there is no time five year plan it was started uh, you know by when uh, our prime minister nehru was there and uh, every five year each uh, uh, five year plan specific uh, uh, re, uh, you know this objective was there. to eradicate poverty to start uh, irrigation facility to scientific temperament and uh, remove uh, poverty and uh, many other many other things you know po- uh, control population all these things you know family welfare all these things you know a lot of each five year plan has got certain objective now the it was previously under planning commission now it is under niti ayog niti ayog headed by the prime minister of india and assisted by the deputy chairman 
of planning commission growth and development cooperative sector and uh, structure of the cooperative what is cooperative credit uh, system that is you know providing loan to the members in case they want to take money or something like that uh, you know um, so they can avail that but for that minimum some interest will be charged everything is there so that is credit society then voluntary agriculture as okay agriculture agriculture cooperative society that you know farmers they can uh, take the this thing share and they can take the loan they can you know avail the loan and uh, uh, do the cultivation state cooperative banks are the state see tamil nadu cooperative bank kerala cooperative bank district cooperative bank now it is called kerala bank kerala bank here so every state is having cooperative banks so they, they are all registered legally functioning remember one thing more banks if you want to function as a bank approval from the reserve bank of india is required okay you are receiving funds you are transacting you know so approval is required state cooperative ag- state cooperative agricultural and rural development banks are also there state cooperative banks are there agricultural state co- agriculture and the state cooperative agriculture and rural development banks are also there so they are given a table non credit cooperative society then dairy corporation uh, cooperatives i told in amul amul dairy cooperative here milma in kerala milma amul nandini in karnataka uh, sorry uh, karnataka so these are all cooperative okay then maharashtra cooperative sugar mills are there maximum sugar mills are in that is cooperative sector they are functioning uh, okay central and pune belt and other area lot of satara yeah or nagpur so many sugar mills are there maharashtra is very famous for that cooperative sector they are functioning fertilizer corporation cooperative sector that if go okay then industrial cooperatives industries okay then uh, industry cooperative the handicrafts then uh, the kadi board and uh, you know so many weavers corporation cooperative kadi board cooperative and uh, you know so many other uh, textile or whatever is there and uh, so, so industrial cooperative society is also existing actually and not only you can see that you know uh, so many uh, facility they are providing to the employees then development cooperative growth and development cooperative uh, that me conclude with assessment of evaluation so here what i want to tell you is that all these activities are based on the democratic principle of the country whether it is uh, uh, our uh, local self government Uh, by I told you in that uh, structure national level state level and uh, gram uh, local self government these are based on our democratic principles actually uh, as you know enshrined in the constitution okay so this is and these are all legally uh, you know uh, uh, legal entity is there for this. everything our registration or as per government guidelines it is functioning okay otherwise you know if you want to alter anything if it is a massive this thing then central approval is required then then central government parliament is passing then state government is just implementing if you want to make some abnormal or or something like that you know which is uh, suitable to a particular state you know each state is having different different different, different problems so at that time they have put up to the uh, central parliament and specific request or something will be there and they will they may consider they may not consider this is one then another thing our panchayat uh, uh, is functioning nicely but uh, more enthusiasm uh, by the office bearers as well as bureaucrats and politicians are required to implement to fulfill the dream of our great uh, you know father of the nation actually because there is a misunderstanding be- between politicians and bureaucrats while implementing many schemes in the bar, uh, uh, this thing and the greatest setback of local self government is adequate funds are not provided with the result of which they are unable to 
implement some of the policies as they mention in their state uh, yearly budget so allocation is not made properly they are having a lot of financial stringencies actually the panchayat the municipality and corporation also lot of problem they are facing they are huge expenditure the revenue is less the revenue is very very less in municipality where is the revenue municipality only from the cinema theater and uh, here uh, what is that uh, you know some other uh, you know small small activity taxes shop and establishment and many other tax levied or uh, buses and other things that will go to motor vehicle department and so many other small small so they don't have revenue now for that they don't run the show many projects so state government has to give state government from where they will get from the state central government <laughs> central government has to give to all states and union territories but they are granting so there is no doubt about it many many there will be small small setback so that we have to tolerate it is part of our uh, this thing in nation building activities some 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 minor because they vast country having the largest population perhaps in the world shortly within very few months we are going to be beat china so very lot of when population increases problems are many shelter food uh, so many other water a uh, lot of other facilities and employment everything you know they have to find solutions this is the end of this uh, today session